Hi guys, welcome to part two of the contest calendar series. So this is a series where I talk about essentially project management because every competitive aquascape is a one year project. It's an annual contest. Everyone has one year in order to put together all the different work that needs to go into the submission. You have a one year resource. If you join us for part one, I talked about, you know, the need to have your storyboard complete, your idea put together, probably about by the beginning of January so that you can start hardscaping there. Um, I'm in the midst of hardscaping right now. Can't really show it too much because, you know, contest. But um, and if you did stop in for part one, um, I'd recommend going through that. It's a long vid, but I go into great detail. And I think it's, you know, very useful to put you in the mindset for beginning the actual work of the aquarium design. So those who did watch it, I got a lot of comments about like how cold I was. Um, I guess I had a jacket on, it was early January, a lot of snow days out at that time, and, but it's not that cold anymore. Um, things are warming up nicely. You can see today I just have a long sleeve shirt on. Thank you UNS for the shirt. Beautiful design, I think. Anyway, so where do I think you guys should be at this point in the aquascape? Um, what we're aiming for is to fill the tank. Like what do we need to do before we can get to the stage where we can fill the tank? So. That is also kind of like a game of chicken. I mentioned like you're rushing you and the other guys like heading towards each other. Who is going to fill the tank later? Because um, the later you can fill the tank, the more time you have to work on the hardscape, right? And the more detail and the more polish you can put in here, the stronger the final result. That said, obviously, if your plants aren't good in good condition for the end, uh, sorry for the heater going on, but we are in the basement. Okay, so if the plants aren't in good condition, if you cannot get them to the height of where you want them to be for the final photo, I think that is going to be you know, an issue, especially in the modern contest, like people are getting better and better at this overall management process. And you see like plants even, even more brilliant condition for final photos. So when should you fill the tank? I think that some of the really experienced veterans that you see, are filling it as late as early April, meaning like eight weeks for the IPLC or even going to early May. And so basically eight weeks is the bare minimum that some of these real veterans are using in order to raise their whole plants. But not everyone is gonna be there. Personally, I think um, I would rather have the tank filled beginning of March or mid-March. Like I want yeah, 10, 10 weeks to three months. Um, and I think most of you guys are gonna want at least three months uh, with your tank filled as well, three, three and a half. So that means that we need to get this done, the hardscape done essentially by the beginning of March. And I think I'm almost there. What I've done is I've gotten the skeleton of the hardscape complete, which means that that's 80% of the work. I think that, um, you know, there's a lot of big deal of final hardscape photos. Like you see the super detailed hardscape photos that people like to post on social media, the kind of thing that you would submit to a hardscape contest whenever there is a hardscaping contest. And I get it, I get the appeal. And I know that it's like the super detailed, crazy work that really attracts the eye of like beginners to the hobby. Put that aside, don't worry about it. What you really want to do is focus on the skeleton. That's the core structure that's gonna be the foundation of everything that's holding your hardscape up. The main backbone of whatever woodwork that you're working on. Essentially, the most essential pieces are what you really want to pour your time and attention to. Like the overall composition is critical and also the structural composition of the hardscape is the biggest deal. Details, they're gonna get grown over, they're gonna fall out. They're gonna, you're gonna think of better ideas for detail work after the tank is filled even. So don't even worry about it. What you wanna do is get in there. Sorry, <laughs> I almost knocked over the pendant light. Um, I was a bit too lazy to use these hangers, but um, I recently set up the UNS pendant lights over my aquarium, like the Titans. I think these are great. and. I really like how light they are. They're so light, the spread is nice. Uh, the color is 
kind of that more modern blue, if that's the type of theater you're looking for. Anyway, back to the hardscape. Um, what you want to do is focus on the core skeleton. Make sure that that is 100% square. Like I'm confident that this um, structure is what's gonna hold and what's gonna carry the layout. And then from there, you know, I can keep building details in as the plant reaches, as the plants, as the tank reach maturity, I keep iterating, right? So you want to get that part, um, I would say, you know, 90% done. I feel pretty confident that I'm about 90% done with this main hardscape structure here in mid-February, okay? And so I have a little bit more pathwork to do, some holes to fill, some more um, places to plug. And I will take a final hardscape photo before I fill, but again, this is a more of a nature aquarium esque design that's gonna go in here. On the other tank, um, still empty. I'm gonna get more hardscape and I'm gonna start working on that. Gonna be quite a catch up game, that'll be fun. But that one's gonna be a high impact diorama. Uh, might take a little bit more time in terms of hardscaping, but I'll have the same plant list and those plants will be maturing in this tank so that they can get a running start when they're going in there for the other contest aquarium. So that's kind of where I am, and that's kind of where I think you guys should be. Remember, by the end of, especially, okay, for the IPLC, for the IPLC, deadline is end of May. Get your hardscape done this February as much as possible. If you go into March a little bit, it's okay. Remember, there will be guys, even aiming for the top 100, who are still doing their hardscape as late as late March. So don't feel panicked. There's still time especially if you're not going for a super intensive, you know, several month long um, hardscaping project. Anyway, uh, for those contests that end at the end of June, obviously there's more time just to adjust everything one month. That's how I'm thinking about that tank over there, adjusting everything one month later for that end of June deadline. All right, that's gonna wrap up my thoughts for this contest calendar entry. Guys, I hope it was useful in helping you plan and think through your next aquascaping projects if you haven't yet. Uh, please watch part one. I am going to be doing the demonstration tank for the next the master skill series this weekend So I think that the next video will be out uh, in the next couple of weeks. Please stay tuned for that Anyway, like comment subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Aloha